and welcome back to the channel today i got a special topic i want to talk to y'all about something that's just been on my mind since you know I, i've gotten out of the military not too long ago um and just as a vet some things that um i wish that people who are not in the military understood or that they knew so being a person who could actually have this opinion and share it with you guys i'm gonna just go ahead and tell you guys some of the top things that i wish civilians knew about service members there we go and the format for this is going to be kind of like you know not so much a list but a list but kind of like a letter kind of like a letter to civilians you know a letter to civilians just things that i wish that people knew let's just get right into the video you get out the military right it's a big change right going from serving and wearing a uniform to not wearing a uniform and you go from a superhuman in a lot of people's eyes uh back to a regular human being if uh you feel like uh you don't necessarily fit in right and it's because um civilians and everyday people don't really understand what it is what it takes what it's like like and what you know what life is like being in the military they don't understand what it's like on a day-to-day -day basis so um as someone who served just to kind of clear some of the air and let people really get a sense of um what it's like and what are some of the things that people who serve or at least me personally and this is my opinion of course right let you guys get a sense of uh some of the things that we wish service members we wish that civilians knew and understood. The number one thing that I wish that civilians knew about service members, and number one thing that I wish that they understood is that service members are not superheroes. They're just regular human beings, just like everyone else. So there is a mystique and there is an air, right? <laughs> and a lot of people get it in their heads that uh, as service members, you have like a special ability. People think that when you serve in the military, that you become some type of elite superhuman. And the facts are that there, there are people that have accomplished incredible things through their service. And I think more than anything, that that's an, a testament to what uh, we as human beings are actually capable of. Uh, because ultimately, people who serve and people who wear the uniform they're just human beings, just like you. Don't make those of us who serve out to be higher than thou or to be on this higher level or as if we have some special powers that you don't have. So a lot of people don't really know how to approach people who serve and how to ask them questions, right? A lot of people don't know what to say because of that first part, right? Because they have made the service member out to be this incredible superhero that's so hard to talk to, so hard to approach, and it becomes uh, awkward. So the number two thing that I want to let civilians know, and I think that every civilian should know about service members or about how to approach service members is that just try to be respectful, right? Because you never know what any of these service members have been through. A lot of us have seen some weird a lot of us have done some weird so you know just keep that in mind when you're talking to service members maybe keep some of the weird type of odd questions to yourself and don't dig and pry into some of the things that um, these service members have done right because um, maybe some of the things that they've done they're not necessarily proud of or they don't want to talk ab about it or they're ashamed of it or they feel some kind of way about it and and these are i'm just keeping it a buck with you guys right because some people in some service members they, they might not tell you right they might not say hey i'm not proud i'm literally not proud of some of the things that i did uh when i was serving but i'm going to tell you that if, whether or not they're proud of it or not everybody doesn't always want to talk about it so just try to have some respect with how you're going to approach people that have served in the military. Ultimately, if you really want to know what it's like to be in the military, right? And you want to know uh, some of these fancy and odd questions that you've been asking some of these people that serve, maybe you ask your family members, maybe, like I said, it's some things that they don't want to tell you, or maybe they don't tell you the type of details that you want to know. Well, that's where the third part of this letter to civilians and this third part of what 
every civilian should know about service member comes in. And I'm gonna tell you guys, it's real simple. Some of those questions that you have, they can be answered real easily if you guys would just go ahead and enlist. Again, like I said, service members are not superheroes. We're just human beings, just like you. Um, this is something that you can do. You can find out for yourself. Um, if you have questions, you have doubts about uh, things that people say and the experiences that people have, or maybe you just want to F-A and F-O. And maybe you just want to learn for yourself. Maybe you're one of those people that have to learn from your own experiences, right? Not necessarily uh, learning from other people's experience. You got to dive in and do it for yourself. And I think more people should because it is a great experience. At the end of the day, right now, we're facing a time where the military definitely could use more people. And so um, I think that if you have questions about what it's like to be in the military, there's no better knowledge than firsthand knowledge and finding out for yourself. So another thing that I wish more civilians knew and understood about service members is that we are definitely not all built the same. A lot of civilians want to put service members into a box and they think us, they know us based on they think that service members are programmed. They think that we've been brainwashed. They think we all think alike. And that is just simply not true. So I really wish more civilians really understood that we're not all the same. Uh, we do maintain our abilities to think for ourselves. Uh, we maintain our personalities, our own sense of individuality, right? Um, serving doesn't strip you of that. It doesn't strip you of being who you are. It may add a layer, right? Um, you may get broken down. You may become a, a better version or a different version of yourself, but you're still yourself. And ultimately, I think that a lot of civilians don't really understand that. And they think that we all come out of service program. And that's just not true. I think a large reason that a lot of people think that people in the military are so robotic is because you are watching the media. Stop watching the media. Too many people fall for the media sensationalism. And I, that's something that I wish that more civilians really understood is that everything you're seeing in the media is just not true. People just believe the media as if it's like written in code and written in stone, just like everything else that goes on in the media and you question, you should question some of the stuff that goes on in the media and that's said about service members because it may or may not be true. Stay skeptical about everything that you hear. Uh, find people that you trust. Find people in your family that have served to talk about all these different things with and find out, separate some of the mist, right? The mist that we talked about when it comes to service members. Get somebody that you trust and get somebody that you know and love to talk about some of these things stop getting so much of your information from the media and it's not just when it comes to service members it's about when it comes to everything the last thing i want to talk to y'all civilians about right is i gotta talk about y'all's mom I gotta talk about your mother I gotta talk about your dad your auntie your pops your granny your cousins your niece your nephew sister brother we got to talk about your family right because all too often today i see too many people just not having any pride in america not having any pride in service today it's just not cool to be and have pride in america it's just not cool to wave the flag right it's not cool to be down with the red white and blue i just want to remind a lot of you civilians and remind a lot of people that have never served to go out and talk to some of your family members, go out and talk to some of the older people in your family and just really realize that a lot of us come from families that have served. Um, so a lot of us have history of service and, you know, it's something that we should have pride in. I say it all the time is that we are riding on the backs of giants. And a lot of these giants are people that brought us here. Literally, your family members, they birthed you here. So have some pride. It's something to be proud of. And, and this goes for even people who have served too. And this is like a side note to not only civilians, but also service members as well. Have some pride in your service, right? Because civilians are watching and the public is watching and people want to like know that you have some pride in what you, you're doing. And if we don't have pride in what we're doing and we can't show that to other people, then what kind of reputation can we expect? So that's really it. That's the last thing I wanted to say. Your mom, right? 
Your mom. Think about your mom, your great grandmoms, your great grandparents. Probably a lot of them served and they were really proud and their sacrifice and their hard work brought you to where you are. It brought us to where we are. If there was anything that I could tell every civilian, something that every civilian should know about every service member is that no matter what branch they served in, right? No matter if they served in the army, no matter if they served in the Navy, uh, chair force, whatever. Just know that that person who served, right? Because they served, because they made that decision to serve, that will be one of the most reliable, hardworking individuals that you're ever gonna come across. If I could tell every civilian something that they must know about service members, lean on your service member, right? When you're in a time of need and you know somebody that's a service member, those are the people that you need to go to. Those are the people that you can rely on. Those are the people who are gonna get you out of the jam. These are the people who are gonna accomplish the mission, right? Those service people that you know, again, like I said, whether they served in the Navy, they served in uh, the Marines, the Army, those are people who are gonna accomplish the mission. These are the get it done people. But that's really it. That's what I wanted everyone to know, right? That's what I want all civilians to know about service members. These are the things that I wish more civilians knew about service members. If you made it this far, like, comment, subscribe. If it's not about topics I cover in this video or in other videos, just don't talk to me.